the new Risk of Rain 2 patch was released just yesterday, and it brought quite a lot of new content to play with, including the new Survivor. I have not unlocked it yet, so I decided to give it a go, and I'm going to do it using the Artificer, which was recently brought to the Justice, by several buffs and a new, quite decent passive in my opinion. So let's see if I can take this quite annoying challenge with one of the most difficult characters in the game. I'm going to play on the Rainstorm difficulty because it is the way this game is meant to be played. I do enjoy playing on Monsoon but only in team, but on solo I... not really. It's, it's not my kind of fun, so I'm just going to stick to the Rainstorm. And let's go! Let's see what kind of new adventure we will get. We're dropping on the Titanic planes. The better first, first plan. And so, the key to the new character lies here, in this fuel array. Looks like it could power something extremely unstable. So, the thing about this fuel cell is... It takes your equipment slot and you have to carry it over, if my intel is correct, to stage 4. So, it may be... It may sound like, hey, it's not a problem, it's just a stage 4. Whatever. There's one problem. If you reach 50% of your HP, or if you drop to your 50% of HP, the fuel cell will activate and will explode. And I'm not going to lie, that's going to be quite problematic, as most often it can just one-shot you. So, this adventure with Artificer, who has this possibly the, the lowest health pool, I'm not sure at this point. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a lot of fun. So for now, I'm just going to try gathering the money and not dying. Let's see, maybe I can get something good from here. Topaz Brooch. This, in my opinion, is the best item that this patch brought to us. Topaz Brooch grants you a shield for each enemy killed. Stacking a couple of those means you get more shield for killed enemies. And with artificial abilities and ability... well... Being able to almost one-shot most of the mobs on the map, you can gain shield quite fast. And we're not lucky for the first time. Actually for the second. I'm just going to leave this shrine alone. Drawn, I am not in a need of this. There are, there are two chests and a drone. I would like this. Armor piercing runs. The anti boss damage is always good to have. So I'm going to keep it. Is there any more? I see an equipment barrel chest down here. So I think I will just gather all of the items that are here, including the drone, and just move forward to the teleport, and I, I'm not sure where is it exactly. Oh, I see the particles, it's gonna be there.
All right. What do we have here? Old War Stealth Kit. Not my taste, but it's still an item. It may help me survive. Let's gather this chest and proceed towards the teleporter. Still dear syringe is nice. I think it affects the rate at which I'm regaining my stacks of the primary weapon. But it's not the best item, but it's better than nothing. Let's see what this market has to offer. Oh. I'm torn between the shield and the ability to evade. And I think I'm going to take this. Tougher times allows me to block the damage. I think it's 17% chance with the first item and then it's just diminishing returns. It's still a viable option, especially for me since I do not have any kind of the defensive abilities. Some people could argue that my sh my ice wall is a defensive ability but not that kind is there anything here I see the repair drone mm. no there's nothing here all right Alright, let's just proceed towards the teleporter and see what kind of boss will we get. It's Bitter Queen. Fairly simple boss. I do not have that much problem with her as I have with the other bosses. Although, getting swarmed... Make it dangerous. Here's the Lunar Coin. And... Rose Buckler. Alright, that's fair. Defensive item is always nice. Now it's only staying close to the teleporter and wiping out mobs. This gunner drone is really helping me out. It keeps aggroing most of the mobs. Hopefully it won't die. I'm just going to snipe some of those wisps. Alright, teleport is charged, let's go to the next stage. Abandoned Aqueduct, the better of the second stages. I honestly hate the wetland aspect map. It's easy to lose chest here because you can't just spot them. I see a 3D printer and it's lens maker glasses. Uh, seems like a decent option, but I'm going to wait with my shoppings. Uh, let's see. 54, let's check the shop. And I see a backup mag. I need five more. Okay. I need money. Alright. Alright. 
So backup mark is the mandatory item for the artificer because with the limited damage from the primary that you have because of the limit of four shots you need all the DPS that you can master and backup map allows you to actually carry an additional charge of your secondary ability so you can just send bombs one by another if you feel like it I got enough money so I'm going to open this chest rusted key not what I would like Maybe I could trade it. Although I'm f if if I lose my amber, my topaz bridge. No, it's not. It's not worth the risk. I'm just gonna have to go with it. And here's the special item. This open, ch this chest has a specific category of healing items assigned to it. It costs more than a normal chest but you will receive only the items from the specific category. There are three categories, damage, utility and healing. So from the damage of course you will get stuff like ATG, syringes etc etc, healing is self-explanatory, medkits, monster tooths and utilities are stuff like old war stealth kit and other items that can aid you. I need more money. Getting money is really problematic in the early game. And you want to buy everything, but you, you're you on the race with the time. Oi! Let's open this chest. As it's the second stealth kit. I mean, it's not a bad item. I just don't personally like it. Let's check this chest. Gra stun grenade, not very helpful. Oh, um, I'm going to pick this sunglasses. Another syringe. War banner is a quite good item. It's not really stackable because if you pick up more, there's only range increase, there are no bonus stats. Which, to be honest, should be changed. But one of them is quite good to have. Let's activate this teleporter. And it's a stun titan. I need to be careful. Because if my health drops to 50, I won't be able to actually complete this. Uh, I need shield. Alright, I managed to survive. My reward is hot for feather. Extra jump is nice to have. And I'm having this small parade coming to me. 
the self fulfilling shield is really fun. And I got the war banner that should help me survive. It will also help with the healing. Can't open this chest. 98. Alright. Teleporter to the third stage is active. Let's open this chest and get out of here. Bustling fungus. Questionable item. It's good for engineer. Because turrets work really good with it. But not for me, because I have to be in the move all of the time. And so the third stage is the Scorch Ackers. The new stage to the game. I'm not fairly familiar with it yet. And I see a Lunar Pod. This could get really interesting. Let's hope I get an item called Transcendence. Or... Lord Helix. Alright. It's not going to help me because it boosts the active ability. But it's one of the most overpowered items in the game. I see the particle teleporters. Alright, the teleporter particles. Let's gather enough money for this chest. Oh, there are two of them. Predator Instinct, not a good item for me. I do not fully benefit from it. Bundle of fireworks. It's a good item. Once you have a couple of them, you can almost one shot bosses to be honest. Let's see what we have here. I don't think I see any chests. Nope, there aren't any. But there is this guy. And he hates me. Let's open this chest and let's get out of here, because... Ah... Oh. Things are getting really messy here. I need more backup max. And more embers. Alright, of Dopas. I keep mixing the names. Oh, ask and you shall receive another backup mag. Let's move forward. I'm going to go to the end of this corridor and then jump down here. I see a terminal. Nothing here.
energy drink, random item and war banner. I'm feeling lucky. And it's a good thing because I got another set of piercing runs. And I'm going to activate this teleport. There's no time to waste. It's in Overlord. The war banner is dropped. That's a good sign. Where's the boss? I do not like the number of imps that is being spawned. Uh, here he is. Let's make him follow us. Yeah. This way, my friend. Oh, that's a lot of imps. Okay, the boss is defeated. That's the another stealth kit. I have to be really careful. Thankfully my ability should be able to keep me alive alongside the topaz bridge. The teleporter is active, let's get out of here. The fuel cell is still active, it's still working, it's time to find a new survivor. Um, if I have to guess, it could possibly in the tunnel, I have to be vigilant. I see the teleporter. The doors are closed. Hmm. he possibly be that was not a good jump thankfully I can glide Get a move on. I am not sure. Sure.
where I could find this guy. Let's open this chest. That's a crowbar. Oh, here it is. The broken robot. And... We can now repair it using the fuel array. Repair the broken robot with the escape pod fuel array. So that's going to unlock... The new survivor. I'm not sure if this location is fixed. But now... Since I have Lord Helix... This could be a quite fun run to continue. And there is no risk of me exploding. So let's take a look at what's inside here. When I gather the money, of course. Back up. So now every now and then I will get a bunch of Jones just flying around for me. Alright, let's go. Infusion. Old War Stealth Kit. Did I bought it? God damn it. That was the wrong item to buy. I'm being pushed around. That is not good. I'll pull those drones to help me out. The Berserker Pauldron, Stealth Kit, this time not picking Stealth Kit. And well, that did cost me the that this cost me my life. However, I got this new unlock. The survivor. Called Rex. It's now available. Let's take a look at this kit. Natural toxins. Cer certain attacks weaken, reducing movement speed, armor, and damage. Fire free syringes for 3 times 80% damage. The last syringe weakens and heals for 30% of the damage dealt. Seed Barrage. Cost 50% of your current health. Launch a mortar into the sky for 450 damage. Directive Disperse. Fire a sonic boom that pushes and weakens all enemies hit. Pushes you backward, backwards if you're airborne. Tangling growth. Cost 25% of your current health. Fire a flower that roots for 200 damage, heals for every target hit. That sounds like really funky combination. Actually it's the first, first time they introduced the character with the passive healing and abilities that actually cost health. This may be quite fun to play with, but that may be for later. Th thanks for watching this terrible unlock playthrough, and maybe see you soon with more friends.